When delving into the intricacies of the Roman Legion, our historical gaze often fixates on the three prominent infantry classes, the Hestati, Principes and the Triarii. These formidable soldiers, characterised by their age and combat prowess, form the core of our understanding of Roman military organisation. Yet amongst the spotlight cast upon these heavy infantry units, there exists a less acknowledged class of troops who played a crucial but often overlooked role in Roman warfare. In the Roman military, every landowner and citizen was required to serve a minimum of 16 years, thus fulfilling their civic duty. Additionally, they had to procure their own equipment, which shaped the composition of the Roman legions in intriguing ways. This system gave rise to two distinct groups within the infantry. The first group, comprised of those with lower property classifications, found themselves serving as light infantry. This category was further divided based on their combat abilities, resulting in the Leves, Royarii and Accensi. Among these, the Accensi stand out as a particularly fascinating but frequently underestimated unit. The Accensi, specialists in skirmish warfare, excelled in the use of slings. While they may not have possessed the battlefield prominence of the Hestati, Principes or Triarii, their role was far from irrelevant. In fact, their unique skills and tactics were essential in Roman military campaigns. It is a common misconception that units like the Accensi were useless or ineffective in battle. On the contrary, these light infantry troops played a vital role in pinning down the enemy. Through coordinated mass volley fire, they could create a barrage of projectiles that disrupted enemy formations and created opportunities for the heavier infantry to advance. This tactic of using Accensi and similar light infantry units to soften up the enemy was a strategy that the Romans employed to great effect. By harassing and distracting their foes, they could gain a tactical advantage and set the stage for the decisive engagement of the heavier infantry units. While the Accensi may not have been the vanguard of the Roman Legion, their contribution was far from negligible. They were the unsung heroes who helped shape the battlefield and secure victory for Rome. Within the hierarchy of the Roman Legion, the Accensi represented a class of infantry that not only operated on the fringes of battlefield recognition, but also faced unique challenges that set them apart from their more illustrious counterparts. While the heavier infantry garnered attention for their martial prowess and well-appointed armour, the Accensi, by contrast, were often too impoverished to possess substantial equipment. This distinction, compounded by their relative inexperience and age, led to the Accensi's reliance on a single, unassuming weapon, the sling. A simple yet versatile projectile weapon consisting of a leather pouch and two long cords. While the sling had a long history of military use and could be a deadly tool in skilled hands, the Accensi often lacked the training and experience to wield it to its full potential. Furthermore, the Accensi were characterised not only by their economic limitations, but also by their age and combat experience. Many of them were older soldiers, past the prime of their physical abilities and lacking the battlefield experience that came with years of service. This combination of factors, limited resources, reduced physical prowess and relative inexperience made the Accensi less effective when compared to their heavier infantry counterparts. In some instances, the Accensi were equipped with additional defensive tools to complement their slings. They might carry a small shield, which could have been an early version of the Roman palmer. This small circular shield was typically made of wood and covered with leather. 
and while it offered some protection against enemy projectiles and attacks, it was still far less substantial than the shields carried by the Hastati, Principes and Triarii. In the eyes of many, these factors may have painted the Axensi as a marginalised and less valuable component of the Roman Legion. In conclusion, the Axensi's position as the least affluent and least equipped members of the Roman Legion made them a unique and often overlooked component of Roman military forces. Their reliance on slings, along with the challenges posed by their age and inexperience, set them apart from the heavy infantry. In the tumultuous theatre of Roman warfare, the Axensi armed primarily with slings and occasionally supplemented with small shields and knives found their place in the ranks as specialised skirmishers. Their role was distinct from the heavy infantry units like the Hastati, Principes and Triarii, but was no less vital to the success of Roman military campaigns. The Axensi brought a unique set of skills and tactics to the battlefield, which centred around their primary weapon, the sling. Positioned behind the front lines, they would take advantage of their range and projectile accuracy to engage the enemy from a safe distance. This strategy had a dual purpose, to disrupt the adversary's formations and to create opportunities for their fellow infantrymen. The Axensi slings were employed with precision and they would unleash a hail of stones or lead bullets at the enemy ranks. This barrage served to harass and distract the enemy, making it difficult for them to maintain cohesion and advance. The sheer volume of projectiles raining down upon the foe could create chaos and confusion, making it challenging for the opposing force to coordinate their movements effectively. To ensure their protection, the Axensi were strategically positioned behind the more heavily armed and armoured infantry units, such as the Triarii and Rorarii. These spearmen were positioned to respond swiftly to any flanking attacks on the vulnerable skirmishers. In essence, the Axensi relied on their shielded ranks in front of them to provide a defensive buffer against enemy threats while they focused on their ranged attacks. This tactical arrangement allowed the Axensi to maximise their effectiveness as skirmishers while minimising their exposure to direct combat. While they may not have been the frontline fighters charging into melee, their role in disrupting enemy formations and creating opportunities for their comrades was invaluable. In summary, the Axensi were integral to the Roman Legion's battlefield strategy. Their position behind the more heavily armed infantry units allowed them to utilise their slings to harass and pin down the enemy, while also affording them protection from potential flanking attacks. Through their unique skills and tactics, the Axensi played a crucial role in shaping the course of Roman military engagements, demonstrating the versatility and adaptability of the Roman military machine. Thank you for watching and listening to our videos. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed, or if you really like the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. There, for as little as $1 a month, you'll gain access to an ever-expanding variety of exclusive Ancient History Guy content not found anywhere else online. All donations go directly back into the channel, helping us on our campaign to conquer YouTube. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.